This question is from gate 2015 mechanical engineering paper set to question number 51. During a TIG that is tungsten inert gas welding process, the arc current and arc voltage were 50 ampere and 60 volt respectively when the welding speed was 150 millimeters per minute. In another process, the TIG welding is carried out at a welding speed of 120 millimeters per minute at the same arc voltage and heat input to the material so that weld quality remains the same. The welding current in ampere for this process is. Let's write the given information here. So there are two TIG welding processes happening here. Let's write them TIG1 and TIG2. For TIG1, the information that is given is current, let that be I1 is 50 ampere. Voltage, let it be V1 is 60 volt. It is given that in the second process also, the voltage remains the same. Voltage and heat input remains the same. So this is also equal to V2. Now what the welding speed? For the first case, let it be small V1. This welding speed is 150 millimeters per minute. And, and for TIG2, welding speed V2 is given as 120 millimeters per minute. We need to find out the welding current in the second process. It is also given that heat input remains same in both the conditions. So because we are using welding speed, we will use the heat input per unit length. Small Q1 for the first process is equal to small Q2 for the second process. We'll use this equation to write the relation between the two processes. So if the heat inputs are equal, we can write by definition heat input is current I1 into voltage V1 divided by the welding speed V1 is equal to current I2 into voltage V2 divided by the welding speed V2. So to simplify this equation, we can cancel out V1 and V2 on both sides because they are equal. We will have I1 is 50 ampere divided by the welding speed in first case was 150 millimeters per minute. This is equal to I2 is the unknown divided by the welding speed V2 is 120 millimeters per minute. We'll keep the units as it is because these are ratios. So we'll get the unit of current as ampere from here. So by rearranging this, we get I2 is equal to 50 into 120 by 150. This comes out to be 40 ampere. Also, this formula for Q is actually given by voltage V into current I into the time for which current is passed. This gives us the heat input during the welding due to the current passed divided by the length because we are writing this heat, in, heat input as heat input per unit length. So this L by T will then give us this one as Vi by small v. And that's what we have used here. Let's fill in the answer. We have the welding current in ampere for this process is 40 ampere, the option A. To learn more about welding power sources, you can refer to the NPTEL video, Lecture 7, Welding Power Sources Characteristics 1 from the course Fundamental of Welding Science and Technology. This course is by Dr. Pankaj Biswas. He is from Department of Mechanical Engineering, IIT Guwahati. I hope this solution will help you clear your doubt. Thank you. Thank you.